Alright guys, so the Innovation Awards slash Block C Awards, whatever you want to call it, just came out yesterday and I would like to round up that video in however many minutes this video takes. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Now number one in the first like 20 minutes of the thing, David Bazuki just started partying. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Just look at his moves. And then he actually finally goes on stage and then Jay Party comes on stage. You know, Jay Party is in the other guy who made all of the other Bloxy Awards. And Jay Party comes on stage and introduces the creators of Mermaid Life. And from there, they announce the best new experience. Game experience. The nominees are Deep Woken, Sonic Speed Simulator, Bed Wars, and Pet Simulator X. And the winner is Deep Woken. They also announce the best creative direction. The nominees are The Wild West, Creatures of Sonaria, and Lubian Legacy, that one Pokemon game. The winner is Creatures of Sonaria. I've never heard of that before. Anyway, next they introduce a guy called ZookCG on stage. I don't know who he is, but you might know him as a Roblox veteran since 2012. They ask him... questions. And then ZookCG went on to introduce the best use of tech. We've got Tunnler, VR Hands, Frontlines, and Rolling Thunder. And the winner being Tunnler, a portal game. And none other than Sabrina Bright herself announces Video Star Video of the Year, or just Video of the Year. Now, this is the controversial one. We have Stronger by Oblivious, It's Funny's video gameplay thing, Invictus Video, and PGHL Films. Except for whatever reason, PGHL Films got cut out of the show. I don't know if it was like some error or something, maybe it like just cut something out or maybe they just forgot to read it. But anyway, the winner was It's Funny, her own gameplay video or something. Now don't worry, this video is going to be completely unbiased, so I will not share my opinions out in this video. Anyways, for whatever reason, Leah Ash announced Video Star of the Year. The nominees were Flamingo, Lanky Box, Lina and It's Funny. The winner was none other than Lankybox themselves! We all knew it was coming at some point. Nah, just kidding, it was for Mingo. Anyways, next they had an interview with Megan Place and her husband talking about work. Not really sure why they needed to talk about work. Work on Roblox, just just go with it. Megan Plays announced the most inversive environment. We've got Interval, Springs Rock, Druid Sanctuary, and 3008. The winner was actually Interval. The best use of Avatar fashion nominees were Mermaid Life, World Zero, Royal High, and Gacha Online. And the winner was none other than Mermaid Life. It was announced by some Avatar fashion expert or something. I don't really know. I'm not really into Avatar fashion. Mini Toon comes on stage. He actually comes up with a fantastic haircut and an I Love Emo Boys t-shirt. Anyways, from there he announced the best international hit. Starring Welcome to Bloxburg, Tower of Hell, Slytopia, and Club Roblox. And the winner was Welcome to Bloxburg. Minitune also announces Developer Studio of the Year. Nominees being Easy.gg, you know, the guy who made Bed Wars, Game Fam, Splitting Point Studios, and Century Games. And the winner was Easy.gg. And then they put Jan Bell on the stage and some other guy I forgot the name of. His name was 4X or something. And the winner of the People's Choice Award was actually Beed Wars. Beed Wars? Beed Wars. Who is it? Beed Wars. But wait, that's not the end yet because four other games actually got nominated. I believe the most concurrent players was Brookhaven. The best new content update was Piggy, it's Breakout Chopper. And the best audio update was actually the game called Robies. And I think I missed one, but that will be in the editing. And the winner for the Builderman Award of Excellence is actually Starving Artists. Yes, the game Starving Artists. But that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!